How do you tell your jeeb she has a moustache? I hate having hair on my upper lip and on my forearms too. My ex mocked me because of it, and I wax it since then. I do it regularly, but many of my friends just don't care, and they are happy the way they look. Good for them. We know about body hair, we just don't need to deal with it in many cases. I feel you. When I didn't shave for two days and had legs double, that poo hole called me Spider-Man. Made fun of me for everything I was insecure about or mocked me so long that I got insecure about it. I hope you get to the day where you can decide which body hair you leave or get rid of without the pesky feelings and fears of being made fun of or looked down upon. Your worth isn't determined by what or how much you shave. Arm hair is such a weird thing for people to point out. Everyone's got it. One of my ex from high school told me that 2012-ish, I didn't realize that everyone else could see it. Now, I shave it every time I shower, and I can see it even when it isn't actually there. Definitely destroyed my self-confidence. My fiancé said it isn't easily seen, even if it's grown out, but it's all I see. My best friend in high school said something similar. I had started to grow sideburn and I was wearing a ponytail. I hadn't noticed. When she saw my, she told me to take down my hair and pointed them out. I was so hurt and it became a huge insecurity of mine and still is. The facial hair has now spread and even women with facial hair and it sucks. I see so much hair about women shaving. If I did that, I would genuinely have stubble. I would recommend tweezers or wax. Jeez, I'm a man and have to pluck my brows and there's no problem. But hell plucking moustache, hair is really painful. I tried it once. In my experience, it gets less painful over time. I was practically crying, plucking out chin hairs the first time. Now I barely feel it. Same with eyebrows actually now that I think about it. My grandmother was going through a tough time with her dying husband and just started sprouting a long, wispy white sprig of chin hair. She was perfectly able, capable to handle it. She just had too much on her mind, didn't care, and no one mentioned anything about it to not bother her with triviality. After the funeral, her three sisters forced her to the bathroom and shaved it for her. If you don't have the will and force of three elderly women, I'd leave it be. My grandma makes fun of my cousin because she grows more of a beard than him at almost 30. I can't believe you have a 30-year-old grandma. You leave Lauren Boebert alone. No, I don't think I will. If you don't have the will and force of three elderly women, I'd leave it be. Dude, have you ever seen three elderly Italian women dead set about doing something? Not even I have that will and force. Exactly. And these were all elderly women who outlived their husbands. That's nothing but Metamucil and Drizzle and Drizzle and Drizzles of home renovation shows. You don't fuck with that. God help you if they decide you need to eat. My mom gets one of those hairs. She can't see it. I always tell her, I have one in the same place. Thanks for that, Jeep. She knows already. Think of meant to ask. How do you tell your Jeep you don't like her moustache? Probably a bit more accurate. Take her to get her eyebrows done. The person doing doing her eyebrows will tell her for you and ask to wax it. Edit, thanks for the awards and upvotes. My wife tells me how blunt the ladies usually are towards her. Mayo, this is genius though. No one will humble you quicker than your eyebrow threading lady. My Asian lash lady was brutal. You look tired today, look like ghost with bags. It was no makeup day. You look prettier today, should dress like this more often. I wasn't in my work uniform. You put on weight uniform. You put on weight, I was preg- X, I didn't recognize you. What's different? My boss without makeup. Then again, I think it's just Asians considering my endocrinologist told me one day, you looked like you lost weight. No more gobble gobble, while she tapped my neck. Bodily imperfections sure seem to be less of a taboo in some East Asian cultures. Many years ago on a bus in rural China, some old lady managed to convey in gestures that I was fat. I in turn managed to convey in gestures that she had bad teeth. She laughed and gave me a sweet she laughed and gave me a sweet, ah, the common cause to both your problem. They bonded. In some of those cultures, someone who cares about you pointing out your physical imperfections is actually a sign they care. For example, in much of South Korea, in some places, plastic surgery is a common, can be a high school graduation gift. Not because your family thinks you're ugly, but because they genuinely believe that you will be more successful if you are more traditionally attractive.
It can sound strange, rude, shocking, etc., but it's simply a cultural difference. Edit. A comment from a Korean Redditor explained that this is not as common a practice in South Korea as I had been led to believe. The point still stands, though, whether we're talking about plastic surgery or a new wardrobe, Korea or the US. I've got a couple chin whiskers, but I'm 47 and the other side of menopause. I expect some weirdness. You and me do moustache? Or no? They got me lately with chin too. Cancel all my appointments. We're gonna need more wax. Upper lip. No? You sure? Yes. A former roommate of mine had this happen to her. She went to have her eyebrows done, and whatever else they do, and the girls there told her, let us get rid of your moustache. She was very embarrassed. This actually worked for one of my chiefs. It was barely noticeable, and didn't bother me, so I hadn't said anything, but she went to get her eyebrows done, and was absolutely shocked when they asked if she wanted to pay us five more to get the stash done too. The problem was, she was pissed that I no one had told her. So before she goes, get your story straight in your head about whether you'd noticed it before or not. So before she goes, get your story straight in your head about whether you'd noticed it before or not. That's a legit laugh right there. I moustache you a question, but I'll shave it for later. My son, 14, and daughter, 12, were arguing and my son said, Well, you're just upset because you've got a moustache, my daughter replied. You're just upset because it's better than yours, well. Wow. Thanks everyone for your upvote. Who knew my best comment would actually be my daughter's? They normally are pretty good friends and get along well, but they have their moments. When I was probably 13, I had the earliest shadow of a moustache. My mom used to bug me about shaving it, and one day my baba told her that she shouldn't be so worried about me shaving my moustache if she wasn't going to shave her own. I never heard about it again after that. When I was 18 and a freshman in college, I naturally got lazy about shaving and my little stash started coming in and there was this girl in my theater group who was a piece of work. At a party, she drunkenly and disparagingly comments, when are you gonna shave your mustache? To which I replied, when you shave yours. I thought she was gonna cry. She left the room. It felt wonderful. Everybody laughed. Edit, holy shit. I went to bed and this comment blew up. True story though. Fuck Rita. I was at work one day and my usual colleague was sick. Her fill-in came right up to me and said my eyebrow girl would be happy to take care of your beard for you. You really should be doing something about it. I said if your eyebrows show the quality of her work, she is not getting anywhere near my face. She turned around and walked off, but her comments hurt my feelings enough that I got electrolysosis for the next two years. What a bitch. If it's any consolation, I can guarantee your awesome comeback made her feel even worse than you did, even if she hid it well. Your daughter just asserted dominance for life, Flail. She's hilarious. And I'm sure she will not be walked over by anyone she chooses to date. There is zero chance she doesn't already know. I agree. If she has a mirror, she knows. Not if she's a vampire. Few mirrors are made with silver anymore, so even a vampire would be able to see their reflection. Wait, that's a thing. The mirrors have to be silver. Wait, mirrors are made with silver? I'm now realizing I've never put a single thought whatsoever about how or what the fuck mirrors are made out of. Yes, mirrors use silver. These days, aluminium is more common though. Imagine if Big Mirror is ran by vampires that desperately needed a substitute for silver so that they could see themselves in the mirror, and also so that their cover isn't blown. This conversation went in a much more interesting direction than the original question. Historically, silver is considered a pure material, hence the silver bullets killing werewolves and such. Mirrors were backed with a layer of it originally, behind a layer of glass. Hence the term, looking glass in through the looking glass, and what Alice found there, the sequel to Alice in Wonderland. The basic logic is that the silver would reject a vampire's image. Some stories also have them burned or otherwise harmed by it. Vampire stuff varies wildly because they're so prevalent in so many different cultures. In other less known bits of lore, they also can't cross running water, can't enter a home without an invitation, and are have a pathological need to count things. That's why we have the count. That's why he's a vampire. Actually, it's pure silver. Dissolved silver nitrate, ammonia and glucose is heated, roughly, and that causes elementary silver to stick to the glass. Popular school experiment. How wonderful, she softly said, that I can see my face ahead, but sadly something seemed amiss. She whispered. Whoa!
What the fuck is this? We went on a holiday where the only mirror was a tad too high. The missus started growing some ungroomed hair, and I didn't think anything of it. Didn't say anything of it, didn't say anything. Just figured she didn't care, and we're on holiday, so me. We go to the airport heading home, and she's carrying our two-year-old son. He starts touching above the edge of her lip and says, Oh, mummy, beard. I got a solid beard, so he obviously made the connection. My wife goes to the ladies' room, looks in a normal-sized mirror, and gets simultaneously horrified and overwhelmed with laughter. Thankfully, my wife has a great sense of humor and has retold that story with full belly laugh about five since then. She's not self-conscious about looks, but she definitely grooms, and it was apparently the hairiest she's ever been. But yeah, she didn't know. The answer to op is in this story. Have your two-year-old do it. You'd be surprised. I had a friend who bleached the dark hair above her lip. That just made it a blonde mustache. I told her it was just as visible, but she flat out refused to believe me. She looked ridiculous. Only tell her if she asks. I was almost 50 and in a class at community college when a fellow student, a young woman of 20-something, took me aside and asked me to inspect her upper lip as she had a date that night and wasn't going for an edgy, hairy look. I was thrilled that she found me unthreatening enough to ask something so personal. Not so much friend, zoned but family. Zoned but family. Zoned. It was fine. No evident hairs at all. Is this from an episode of Community? Yeah, the one where Annie asks Pierce to wax a moustache, but he can't because he's just so. Pierce. And got the wax all over himself, basically cemented himself to the wall, so the Dean ended up having to come in and do it. Then Troy and Aved purposely bonded themselves together with a wax, and they used too much so there wasn't enough left to finish Annie's lip, so Britta volunteered to go down to the beauty supply store to get more but ended up in full crisis mode, screaming about how the beauty industry is just as bad as the military industrial complex and how most of our chocolate comes from child slave labor. Then Shirley had to call Jeff to go pick her up, and, well, you remember how that went lol, poor Jeff, even though he kinda deserved it. I can say with about 90 confidence that this isn't an actual episode, but I can say with 200 confidence that I would absolutely watch it if it were. She knows and doesn't give a shit if you tell her er uh, gonna regret it. Wisdom. Wisdom. This is absolutely correct. Say nothing. Shave it while she sleeps. Midnight Waxer. Set aside some time together and take her somewhere she really likes. Then gently don't. You might be smelly, but you are also smart. Maybe he's smart because he's smelly. Set aside some time together and take her somewhere she really likes. Then gently don't. They looked at the stars and the moon up above and sat in the glow of the firelight in love. They watched as the embers all dwindled to ash. Oh, darling he whispered. You don't have a tach. What kind of sociopath shortens moustache to tachy and not stash? Woman with costs and thick dark hair here. I know the Reddit way is to just communicate, but in my experience, I would rather people not say anything. She likely knows and is probably self-conscious about it. After being made fun of for it while growing up in places such as school or work, as an adult I spent near Fivake to get laser hair removal, and thanks to pores my hormones constantly fluctuate, leading to the regrowth of hair. Thankfully, I have the lifetime package and a spouse I've been able to joke about being able to grow a better moustache. But many women don't have either luxury, so leave her be. She'll carry your comments with her forever. I've got this health condition as well. It makes me feel as if my body isn't mine. I'm nearly 37. A boyfriend I had 20 years ago, who was generally a piece of shit, made comments that I have a moustache. I have fine, fair upper lip hair, and really I'm not bothered by it at all. I still remember his dickhead comments occasionally, though like a toxic little worm in my head. My son, 35, actually told this to his new bride. Big mistake. Huge. Now she goes for laser hair removal, and he's paying for it. Sounds like a win. It's wild how the toxic little comments can stick with you. One ragged on me about my blonde lip hairs because he could see them in the sunlight. Waxed for ages even after we weren't together. Wasn't until recently getting melasma discoloration that I finally put the blonde hairs into perspective. Had another ex make comments about how I spit after I brushed my teeth because it wasn't feminine. Stuck with me for years. 
It's normal for women to have moustaches, seriously, and she undoubtedly knows it's there. Telling her she has a moustache would be like telling her she has leg hair. How do you tell your girlfriend she has leg hair? Hi, baby. I, la girl, you a question. Give her a small pocket mirror as a gift, but replace a mirror with a picture of Yosemite Sam. Works every time. She already knows. Either she's okay with it and will resent you mentioning it, or she's embarrassed and will hate that you mentioned it. Either way, you lose. You, hey, you got some shit on your face. Here, that's just my face. After seeing a ton of these comments and going with, I asked my girlfriend if she would want me to tell her if she had one. I figured the answer was yes, but it was 100 in size, tell me to shave. Yeah, holy shit, how is everyone on this thread so fragile? A normal response would be, yeah, I know, can't, don't want to shave it right now, or thanks for telling me, I didn't realize. Either way, you move on, it's not that deep. If it's a health condition, the boyfriend should probably know about it anyway, so I doubt it's that. I absolutely hate when people aren't direct with things. If you want need something from me, just say it. Even if it's awkward, I'd rather save time than have to go off subtle hints or building tension. Yeah, people in this thread are so concerned about the idealized form of love them, as they are to the point of absurdity. If I, for example, had my nose hairs sticking out my nostrils, I would appreciate my jeff pointing that out to me so that I could take care of it. Are people so fragile here that something as small as pointing out a missed spot in grooming would destroy them? This comment section, at least as far as I read, which was pretty deep into the thread, is so obnoxious and self-serving. Everyone sitting high and mighty telling off that no matter what, it is forbidden to discuss their partner's look. Of course she knows, and may well be self-conscious about it, or may not give a fuck who knows. But to shame up into never being vocal to his partner is such shitbag advice. I've had GFs tell me many times after a shave or trim that my beard moustache is prickly or sharp or rough. It was unpleasant and they vocalized it. How is that a one-way street? Sorry, Pushbroom but your pointy lip hairs are causing me discomfort when we kiss. There are plenty of tactful and respectful and respectful ways to broach a subject like that with yourself. If you love each other, you should have an avenue to discuss such things. How is it any different than asking your soul to shave down there if that's what you like? Tell Dusty you like. Never shame and so about anything, but conversations can still be had. I agree. They're your partner. Body hair shouldn't be taboo. My partner told me your armpit hair is long, and I said, yeah, often in the winter. I don't feel like shaving it for a couple weeks. And he said, okay, got it for me. It's really important to talk about it. Discuss your girlfriend's mustache. Why not? She knows. If you don't like it, get a girlfriend that includes upper lip hair removal in her routine. It's totally normal. Women have just been shamed into being as hairless as possible when it doesn't involve scalp, lashes, and brow. Disagree. A man can say to a woman that he doesn't like her moustache, just like a woman can say to a man that she doesn't like his moustache. You simply ask her, did you know you're dating a complete dumbass? And then you move on. 